Welcome to this installment of Configuring Threat Response featuring the browser plugins. If you've ever wanted the power of Cisco Threat Response right in your browser and you're running Chrome or Firefox, you're in luck. And if you haven't wanted that, why not? This is great. We can look up observable reputations and take first strike response actions right from the web page or web console that first told us about the threat. It doesn't matter what modules you've got, you can use them right from your browser. Follow along and we'll get set up. First, we'll create some API credentials for our threat response account so the plugin has a way to authenticate to the platform. Then we'll install and configure the plugins for each browser. And then we'll run through a quick use case example. The whole thing should take less than five minutes, so let's go. So the first thing we need to do is create an API client account. Log into threat response, then click on the gear in the top right to get to settings, then API clients on the left, and then add API credentials. Give it a name that's going to mean something to you. Scopes are how we give an API client account role-based access. In this case, we want it to be able to take any of the actions that we might ourselves take, and so we should pick Select All. You can also optionally give this a description in the description field. Click Add New Client, and then you will see the client credentials. Now, like it says, this information can't be recovered once you close the window, so store it somewhere secure and make sure you've got access to it for the upcoming steps. Okay, and we are going to go through both of these installations relatively simultaneously. I have Chrome here on the left, and I have Firefox here on the right, and in each of them I have a page that shows the relevant shortcut to get to the browser plugin for that browser. So for Chrome, I would go to cs.co slash ctr for Chrome, and for Firefox, I would go to cs.co slash ctr for Firefox, and each one of those loads up the appropriate page in that browser's store. So here I'm going to add this to Chrome on the Chrome side, add extension, and on the Firefox side I'm going to add this to Firefox. And in each case I now have the plugin in that browser. Now I need to go through some fairly simple configuration steps to make them work. On the Chrome side I pick my server based on which region I want to be using and I add the client ID that I have stored from the previous page. I'm also going to add the client secret. I then click authenticate and it shows that I am successfully authenticated. I'm going to do the same thing in Firefox. Add my client ID, add my client secret, and pick authenticate. Now in either of these I can pick a light or a dark theme And that's all there is to it. Both of these browsers now have the Cisco Threat Response plugin configured. Next, we're going to show what this looks like in operation. Here we are at the Talos blog entry for DNSPNAS and the Kharkov malware that that campaign is using. We know from previous experience that Talos does a great job of researching and documenting all of these kinds of attacks and always puts at the end of the article where applicable a list of the relevant IOCs. We're just going to hit the plugin right now, and with that button, it will search through the article and pull those observables out for us. It found 16 observables. It found 10 that it already knows are malicious because it asks threat response for that information. It found one that we know is clean, just snort.org, which has nothing to do with the article. It's just in the footer, and then five that are unknown. So we're going to just select the 10 that are malicious and the five that are unknown and do an investigation. But before we even do that, I see here that we've got a domain that's listed that's unknown by disposition, but that I happen to know my business has no business contacting. So I'm going to go out of my way and block this domain right now, so far out of my way, two clicks. This domain is now blocked across my entire infrastructure because I have it behind the Umbrella DNS security platform. Now with that done, I'm going to go through to an investigation. And here we see threat response doing enrichments on all 15 of the observables that I pivoted into the investigation with. We see a couple of purple targets, which means that some of our assets have been in contact with some of these things. This Office 360 that I blocked a minute ago is now showing up as red because I blocked it. But I also see that some of my assets have communicated with this domain. I've got something to look into now, but at least the rest of my network is now protected. And that's how quickly 
you can get valuable local context and response capabilities right from the browser using that plugin. And that's it. Now you can bring the power of Cisco's integrated security architecture everywhere you browse, saving you time and hassle and closing those windows of opportunity even faster on your attackers. Congratulations, you've leveled up.